Let's talk about some of the real signs that they're telling you to look for. And when we look at this warming sensation, you hear a lot of people talk about this. And 20 years ago, this is what we used to tell people too. When I first started supplementing with betaine HCL, I worked up to like 13 capsules per meal and I still wasn't feeling this warming that people would tell you that is going to come. So basically the idea that a lot of people will tell you is that you supplement with one capsule of betaine HCL for your first meal with protein. It should be a meal with protein. And if you don't feel any discomfort or warming sensation, then the next meal you would move up to two capsules and you would continue to move up until you felt this warming sensation that was telling you, okay, you now have too much stomach acid in there, so the next meal you would wanna back off. So this excess HCL was creating this warming sensation that was telling you that you've reached your dose and I'm up to like 13, I got nothing. So it's just not true. So they talk about that if you feel like a tingling or burning, heartburn or diarrhea, that you have exceeded the dose that you really need and you should go back down to whatever dose you are tolerating. And they do talk about that the max dose that you should really get to is about 3,000 milligrams. And so we agree with that, but they talk about that if you experience any of these things, well, that's too much. Well, here's why that doesn't really work in the real world. A lot of people will experience these things on the first dose of one. And it's actually a magnification of problems going wrong. It's not always a sign that, oh, you've reached the dose above what you really need. You can back down now. So let's look at this. A tingling or you know any type of burning in the stomach type of thing. A lot of times if a person has gastritis or some type of gastric ulcer or something, those come about from a bacterial infection in the stomach. Some type of infection here in the stomach that is creating all this inflammation. Gastritis and ulcer ulcers are not caused by too much stomach acid like we thought in the 80s when we were wearing parachute pants. It's actually usually caused by some type of bacterial overgrowth. And usually that overgrowth got into the stomach and set up camp because there was not enough stomach acid there. That stomach acid is not just there to help us acidify and break down our food. It's the barrier that keeps the bad guys from coming in. So if somebody has gastritis or some type of ulcer, they could put one capsule in there and they're going to feel this tingling or burning. And that doesn't mean that they don't need need more HCL, if they have an overgrowth of bacteria in there, then that stomach is likely very alkaline. A lot of times the waste byproducts that these bacterial overgrowths kind of put out can be alkaline and they're kind of alkalizing that stomach environment, making it more hospitable for them. So a lot of times those alkaline wastes will neutralize the small amount of acid that a person is making or what a person is supplementing with.